All right, guys, it's been an exciting last few weeks. Lots of things happening at the moment. But right now we're packing for our next adventure. We're leaving to Canaries tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. It's quite a mission. We've got about half an hour left of sunlight, but I think we can manage. See you guys tomorrow. Let's do this. What's up guys, I hope you enjoyed the last episode. We put a lot of work into it. Now we're here in the Canary Islands. We're here for the Spanish Nationals. The wind conditions and conditions in general are looking epic. So yeah, we're gonna take you on this adventure. Welcome to World of Whaley, episode two. Oh, hello there. That was a wonderful session. <laughs> so it felt great to get straight off the plane and go for a session. Uh, first day of warm up today was just feeling and checking out the conditions a bit. Felt great, I had a, a lot of fun out there. Didn't push it too hard, don't wanna injure or hurt myself. Tomorrow we have another day of warm up and the following day the competition start. Can't wait. So we're at the, the beach is called Burreros and this is the event side pretty much. As you can see there's a lot of rocks on the beach so it's a little bit sketchy and you have to jump a bit further out to make sure that you don't land onto the rocks. But um, yeah, well, today I think we're going to have a little warm up session here, get used to the conditions that we're going to have during the event and yeah, have fun with all the guys. A few of the riders are here, they're, they're flying high so got to show them what's up. fun just feeling out the conditions here right in front of the event site and yeah, I had a couple big ones one of them I think it's the the pier that does weird things with the wind so I went up and then I looped my kite and it kind of just stayed there and I almost ate 
basically. But uh, luckily it caught me in the last second. So yeah, lost a bit of confidence on that one. We'll get it back tomorrow. So I'm bringing seven, eight, nine, and 12, and ideally I compete on the nine or the eight, and that's pretty likely considering how strong and uh, consistent the wind is here. So let's see, but regardless, I'm ready for, for any outcome. Super fun just to go out and feel the conditions. Took it easy but landed every single trick so that kind of boosted my confidence. And now in the next heat I'm up against local boy Jeremy Bolando. He's riding super well so I'm gonna have to push it a little bit harder. Let's do it. That was extremely close. My three tricks were better than his three tricks, so I advanced and I'm a bit more chilled now, but we still got a, a couple more heats to go. Semi-finals now up against Lorenzo. He's killing it, and then the finals, but um, I'm gonna go full on now. And that was super stressful. The heats are so short. It's always like down to the last minute, trying the last few tricks. Managed to get like a big one on the buzzer. This one was a big uh, boogaloo board off. And the last heat was a big uh, Kung Fu pass right at the end. So pretty stoked, very stressed in the water, but uh, happy to be advancing. And now in the final, so let's give it 100%. Alright, so it's the end of a long day of competition. Honestly, the level was pretty insane. I really didn't expect it to be so high and I was given a challenge in a lot of the heats. And in the finals, I had a lot of crashes, but I think my three tricks were pretty good. So let's see, we don't get the results until Sunday. And yeah, I just wanted to say that it's amazing to see uh, the young generation coming through. There's lots of kids that are 
this tour and the killing it, doing Kailu board off rotations and a lot of technical tricks. So that's great to see and let's see what they're doing in a few years. See you guys on Sunday. What's up guys? So it's the last day here, it's a Sunday and we're about to do the, the prize ceremony. We still don't know the results. I was up against Carlos Mario, so I don't know if I'm first or second, but I'm pretty happy overall. And yeah, hoping I get that first place, obviously, but whatever happens, um, I'm okay with it. Not really. <laughs> but, uh, let's see, let's see. <laughs> This title means a lot to me. I started competing at a very young age, at around 11 years old, and my first Spanish nationals were on the next door island in Lanzarote. And yeah, that's when I became Spanish champion around the age of 14, junior. And now to win a, a senior Spanish title, it means a lot. It was an amazing event. It was really nice to see a lot of young kids coming in strong and, and challenging me. But yeah, just been training a lot lately and I'm, I'm super happy to, to take this title and bring it home. Anything you say or do will be used against you in the state of, in the, I hope you guys enjoyed that last episode. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. This will really help me out. We're currently here in Tarifa. We're on standby for the next event, which will take place in Denmark. It's called Cold Games Hawaii. So we're definitely gonna take you guys on that next adventure. And yeah, hopefully you keep following my journey and we see you there. Peace out.